Hey everybody and welcome to God of War Ragnarok. I'm going to be pumping out these videos as quickly as I can, so hopefully you enjoy. This is going to be quite the ride. If you guys don't remember, they left us with some cliffhangers in the previous game. Excited to get some answers to some of the questions. I'm going to make a recommendation to you guys, and that's just to set the vibe. If you don't know what that means, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up. Just let yourself get into this one. Thanks to Sony for the review code. And I hope you guys enjoy. I believe we're three years after the previous game. Atreus is a little older. Hungry? Next. Who? Oh. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? And we're off. Surviving Fimble Winter. I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is. Quite sick, Trace. I know. But he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Get <laughs> That didn't take long. She wouldn't give up that easy. 
What's she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is! Jesus. So I changed one of the options instead of button mashing just to be a button pull. That was too close. Hello. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vanna. Up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. There was a point in time in the previous game where Atreus was getting pretty big headed, a little cocky. He started to kind of ease up towards the end, so. I will get the deal. Yeah, see, now it, it seems like he's kind of taken on some additional responsibility and it's cool to see. Go on, girls. Oh. Father of the year is proud. Let's just check out our place here. Oh, they're done already. There's gotta be a way through that. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? Hey, buddy. Aww. It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? 
Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? Oh, that's tough, man. There you go. Good boy. Near. You must prepare yourself. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Ufna, Afra, Desu, Sofa, Hethon, Sofna. We just don't deserve dogs, man. Having lost uh, an older pet earlier this year, like I thought, oh. yeah, we don't deserve them. For the boy, too. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Drinking is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. Prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him.
Oh, look who it is. Well, <laughs> I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. So at the end of the first game, or the previous game, I should say, there were some allusions to Atreus being connected to Loki in some way, or maybe being Loki. It was kind of left in a bit of a gray area. So now he says he wants to find him and find out kind of who he is. I imagine that's mostly what we're going to be following. Kratos? Faye is Atreus's mother that was cremated in the previous game. I believe it's his second wife, if I'm not mistaken. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? <laughs> no, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said, he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? <laughs>
is Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. Come on, man. New lore entry, Mimir. Viewing Codex. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we got lots going on here. Mimir has lived with us since our return from Jotunheim. I've known few I would call friend and brother, fewer still, but I've come to rely on the wisdom and counsel of the smartest man alive. Also, he's compact and does not consume precious resources. Very true. Trace has not returned home for bringing the wolf. My worry grows. I'll follow his tracks. So it looks like there's XP for both Kratos and Atreus. You suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between <laughs> realms? No, the stones have not moved. Anything is possible. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. Well, would he go back to our small little? This has not been opened. No prince this way either. There we go. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? Yeah, okay, this is the spot that we checked right at the beginning. He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep. That is very you. satisfying. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like phase. Trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. <gasps> Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. <laughs> Sounds familiar. And we're not alone. Oh, hello! Wow. <laughs> Raiders. If I can keep up with the codex entries, I will I will definitely try. Few humans are left in the wild woods these days. Those who survive have either stashed themselves away in the warmest places they can find, or should they choose not to hide have only fended off the cold by transmogrifying their filga, their guardian spirit. This part of their soul takes the traits of an animal, allowing them to adapt Midgard's unforgiving climate. As of late, the various remaining raiders around the Wildwoods seem hell-bent on murdering the lot of us. The protection stave keeps interlopers at bay, but every hunting trip beyond its borders inevitably results in encountering a scouting party or two. I cut oh we're kinda of both in one swing. Nice. Oh there we go. Late. 
Oh, he calls it out. That's cool. Cool how they just kind of disintegrate. They should not be this close. We should check on the protection stave. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Find health stones well, to restore his health. Right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? I've also set it to auto pick up everything that we go by. Um, we can adjust that later. You can set it to be just essentials like health and, and rage, but I just said we'll pick up everything automatically, so I don't have to investigate it. A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. <laughs> wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must Jeez. find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Hmm. And it splits, of course. Ah, we need a way around. We won't find him this way. <laughs> Let's find that trail of blood. Yeah, but we'll find something. Oh, it looks like some type of path that should lead down and or up and around somewhere. Then we end up back down here. Aha! Trails on the other side of that gap. If you can clear the way. <laughs> Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of. Hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions. I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. I'm just practicing. <laughs> That's a lot of blood, brother. We yeah, must find him. Don't love that. Skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Frost Awaken. Hold triangle to frost up the axe, powering up the next melee or ranged attack. I forgot how awesome this is. Whoa! Oh, 
Jeez. That's incredible. It's so weighty and satisfying too, like... Over this? Gone. You got a chest of some kind up there. And up there. Of course, yes, the boy is the highest priority, yes. Whoa. <laughs> Good aim. thinking brother but atreus can handle himself you've taught him well so he keeps telling me yeah, but he's also in a very emotional situation <laughs> forged iron yep thank you torches and the trail leads into that cave well oh. We know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Yeah, we don't really do quiet. <laughs> or you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are these the raiders you rescued the more our style. Time? No. They have not been here long. Death from above. Now we're talking. Sprint off a ledge. Once in the air, press R1 to unleash death from above attack. Wow. Those little indicators are actually very helpful. goes through here leads deeper in there will be more I wonder if I can just keep this thing frosted while I'm checking out everything the answer is no Well, not in the bear's way. 
That one's got a sling. Look out, brother. You were saying? You Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. <laughs> Who we were looking for. Well, we found the bear. Oh, he found us. Attacks with yellow rings cause block break, leaving us vulnerable. Okay, yeah. So we be dodging full time. Whoa. Unblockable dealing damage through guard. Yeah, okay. Oh, he seems angry. We can like interrupt that. Yep, that'll do. Oh, 
We can still carry those smaller attacks if we time it very tightly. Come on. Dodges there. What does this mean? I I thought that was going to be the case. Atreus! Atreus! Little, like, Loki trickster status, perhaps, that he cannot control. First, focus. Heal. He was the bigger bear. That's cool. What happened? I prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. It set him off. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. 
I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions. They transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And they will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Necessary risk. Inaction is also a risk. You <laughs> taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Well, hello. Atreus has grown so much since our journey to Jotunheim. We've trained through winter upon winter with no summers between. He's stronger, more capable, more adept in battle, and an excellent climber. But he still has much to learn if he is to master his emotions with discipline. He remains distracted by thoughts of Loki and the destiny foretold, or destiny foretold by the giants. Whatever his mother's people intended for him, whatever she intended, I will keep him safe and prepare him while I can. Uh, really quick, we also have Specky and Svana, the two dogs from the sled. Uh, not long ago, we rescued a pack of wolves from raiders on the Lake of Nine. Despite my warnings, Atreus decided to name them. Having these two to pull the sled has made transportation significantly easier. The wolf Fenrir has been in decline for some time now. Atreus cares for the animal deeply and has not been able to accept that he is dying. In the past, I would have told him to close his heart to this loss, but he has endured, already endured so much. I see the compassion in his heart, and I'm proud of the man he's growing into, but I must keep him focused if he is ready for more dark days ahead. And then Faye. It's been too long since Faye left us, and we spread our ashes from the highest peak in Jotunheim. A journey she planned, one that neither of us was ready for. A dream of her... I dream of her in simpler times when being together was enough. My duty now lies solely with our son, but I still have so many questions for her. So much that I still do not understand. I see glimmers of her in Atreus, and they make me smile, but I'm left with those same questions as I try to guide him along his path. He's focused on who he will become, and while it becomes difficult to keep him close, I'm grateful I can continue this journey with him for now. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Freya continues to pursue us, seeking revenge for the death of her son, Baldur. I do not wish to fight her. She was a friend. But I will defend myself as she forces my hand. I do not see a peaceful resolution to our situation. I do not regret Baldur's death. Had I allowed him to kill Freya, he would not have abandoned his pursuit. His fate would have been the same. I do not expect Freya to accept what happened as necessary. She will likely pursue us until one of us is dead. And Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor, also pursued us on our journey. Magni was strong but arrogant until his last breath. Modi proved himself a coward, but I pitied him in his last moments. There seems to be little forgiveness among the Aesir gods, and I expect that we have yet to suffer the consequences of the blood spilled. Okay, guys. Very cool. Health will automatically generate a small amount after a fight if we're critically hurt. That's good. We'll take that. I feel like this is a good place to take our first break. Uh, I will be pumping these out as quickly as I possibly can. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, 
please drop a like on it. That helps me a lot. Uh, drop a comment down below as well for your thoughts on part one. And if you're new here and you enjoyed it, then consider subscribing. That would be great. See you guys soon. Bye for now.